Hi, hope they can make this relatively quickly to conserve your time in regards to watching this. So, with the advent of YouTube dying, because of the new policies, there's an opportunity to make a new social network, because I've been looking for what I consider to be an ideal form of a social network, and I found interesting social websites, or social network sites, but I haven't found what I consider to be the ideal. Now, there is a few of them that, I, that I'll discuss right here, right now. Elo.com is the closest that I've come to finding one that is ideal. It is not done especially the right way, I consider it's a bit too sparse. Uh, but what it has, though, that I find ideal in regards to it is hyperlinking. Hyperlinking is where you have some text you can click on, essentially what Wikipedia does. Now, that's the essential concept that I want to bring forth here, is the idea of social wiki. That is a website or a, a social network that has the features of Facebook. You can post updates and whatnot. And then the deep linking ability of Wikipedia. And by the deep linking, linking ability, I mean you're able to click on text. And that text brings you to another page. And that other page could be like a different post or something like that. You might be familiar with uh, Steemit, or you might not be. Steemit is run by anarcho-capitalists, and you can make money on Steemit with your posts. Now, a similar concept is being implied at Minds.com. Minds.com is another place that I've looked at in regards to uh, new social websites to see if they are doing what it is that I consider to be the dream social network. The dream social network, uh, the, the basic idea, the, the whole basic idea of, of what I consider to be the ideal is complete and total customizability. That includes things like the privacy features and being able to make your posts or whatever you want to be to, to have be either as public or as private as you want. And if it's completely public, for example, you can see it anywhere. There's a social website that has it where you can make posts and it's in your own private world, but you can't see those posts anywhere else. And so it kind of defeats the purpose of posting to the web because you can't see them. I forget what the website's called, that's why I'm not using this name. Minds.com is very close in a lot of regards, and the people who are who made it and who are working on it are continuously improving it, and so that's one that I'm keeping an eye on. But I haven't seen so far a social network site that combines all the good ideas that I've seen. Uh, Sue, TSU.co, came somewhat close, but one, th one flaw I keep finding is, and, th and this is one that VK.com, I think, used too, which is that after a day, you can't edit your posts. And that just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, Steemit actually has an excuse for it, and that it's monetizing it, or it, it's, it's paying you out, and so it's not modifiable after, but that doesn't really make sense to me. It should be, as it were, that you can edit it at mostly about any time. As well, something that really surprises me and that I don't understand is the lack of inclusion of what I call or consider voice notes videos. And that is where you simply use your voice to record a video without the actual video part of it, just your voice. Because that takes up so much less megabytes in terms of sending and broadcasting data. It would make more sense because that would take so much that it would be such of a less burden on the network and everything in general, as well as for the uploader too, because it takes a lot of megabytes to make a video as opposed to a voice note. There's a huge difference in terms of size. So it makes sense to include that ability because that would conserve time and energy and effort for everyone involved. So the idea here is a combination of notions of creating a better social network along with complete customizability of your entire experience. Now, the issue, of course, is with two things. One is with people being interested in this idea. I've presented this type of idea before, and essentially no one seemed to care about it. And I'm hoping that with YouTube on the fall at this point now, that that's going to change. I'm not guaranteed that, but I can hope that that's going to influence people to be more along the lines of going, hey, maybe we should check this out. Because I've looked and I haven't found anything that is close enough or about there to what it is that I'm thinking about. And yes, I need to work on some design stuff and whatnot. And one thing that I'm wondering about is which route I should go in regards to a few things. One thing I'm wondering is, and this is a spot where you can actually help me right now without using money, 
is I'm, I'd like to show the concept, and I'm not sure how to do that. I can do it on paper, of course, but that's just showing you on paper. I'd like to be able to, for example, do some sort of website thing where you can see how the format of it would be. You can like click there and click there and click there, see different pages when I and see how it would look and kind of how it would function. You wouldn't be able to make an account or, or anything like that, but you could look at it. You could explore the overall layout and stuff and whatnot. And that's something that I would love to be able to do. And I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how to do that. I think there's probably something like that out there. But I'm not really sure where to look. So if you know or if you have an inclination of where it might be, that would be great. That would be really helpful because then I can show people much sooner the concept and then generate interest all that much sooner and all that much faster. Because I do need money, yes, and that's why, because I'm a little bit focused on getting a job right now. And that's, of course, a drain on being able to completely focus on this, too. But that's somewhat besides the point. Until I've been able to show people the concept because that's when the interest would be generated and then people people would be going, huh, I like that idea, let's do this, let's um, go fund you, let's do a Kickstarter, I don't really know. So I need to fetter out this idea a bit better, and having some sort of sample website I think would be ideal for doing that. As well, I'm not sure if I should like hire a programmer or learn the coding myself. I think learning the coding myself would be ideal, but I'm not sure that I can start with that. Mainly because I think right now is an ideal opportunity to get people interested in it, and to get it going, and I could learn the stuff later when it's already up and going, if you know what I mean. Uh, if, you are, if you are a website programmer, if you are a social network programmer, and this concept interests you, please talk with me. I would love to interact with you. I'd love to learn from you. I'd love for you to be the person doing this. I don't know. Are people doing this? That would be great to have more than one person doing it. So if you're a programmer that's con uh, and this idea concept interests you, Please do talk with me. Please do comment in the comment sections below. Because, yes, I would like to work with you. <laughs> uh, I think that covers the basic concepts and ideas that I want to present. And therefore, this is the end of the video.